Ever wondered what an umbrella review is and why it's important in research? This intriguing question brings us to the fascinating world of umbrella reviews. These are not your everyday reviews, rather they are a type of research synthesis that provides a comprehensive and systematic overview of multiple systematic reviews and meta-analyses on a specific topic or research question. In essence, instead of conducting new primary research, an umbrella review aims to summarize and synthesize the findings from existing systematic reviews and meta-analyses, which themselves have aggregated data from multiple primary studies. This process aids in reducing redundancy in research efforts, providing a valuable resource for researchers, clinicians, and policymakers looking for a quick, high-level understanding of the state of knowledge in a particular field. Now that we know what an umbrella review is and its importance in research, let's delve into the process of conducting one. Conducting an umbrella review involves several key steps. Let's delve into each of them. The first step is the selection of a specific research question or topic. Researchers define the scope of the umbrella review by specifying the key research question or objective they want to address. This sets the stage for what is to come. Next, a systematic search and selection of systematic reviews takes place. Researchers scour the literature to find relevant systematic reviews and meta-analyses that have been previously published. They apply predefined inclusion and exclusion criteria to cherry-pick the most relevant reviews. Once these reviews are selected, it's time for data extraction and synthesis. The chosen systematic reviews are evaluated and data from these reviews are extracted and synthesized. This might involve summarizing the results, methodological quality, and conclusions of the included reviews. The fourth step involves an assessment of the quality and risk of bias. Researchers analyze the quality and potential bias of the included systematic reviews to ensure that the information they use is reliable and trustworthy. This is a critical step to maintain the integrity of the review. Finally, the evidence is summarized. An umbrella review typically results in a summary of the existing evidence. This summary can help researchers and policymakers understand the state of knowledge on the topic and make informed decisions. These steps ensure that the umbrella review is comprehensive, reliable and valuable for researchers. Like any research method, umbrella reviews have their strengths and limitations. On the upside, they provide a comprehensive overview, reduce redundancy, assess consistency, gauge quality, and are an efficient use of resources. However, there's a flip side. The quality of an umbrella review hinges on the systematic reviews it includes. If these are of poor quality or biased, it could compromise the umbrella review. Also, heterogeneity or variations in methodologies can pose challenges. Understanding these strengths and limitations can help researchers effectively use umbrella reviews in their work. 